Hi everyone, in this video, we will discuss how to merge two sorted linked list. So let's understand the problem statement. So we are given two sorted linked list and we have to merge it into one sorted linked list and return its head. So let's take an example. So these are the two linked lists that we are given. We have this head one and head two. So we can see that the linked list are sorted because 1 is less than 2, 2 is less than 7, and 7 is less than 18. So both the linked lists are sorted. So when we merge it, we get this linked list. So we can see here, we have two ones. So these two are here. Then we have number 2, then 7, then 8, then 9, then 10, 18, 30, and 40. So we need to combine the linked list into one and return the head. Now there are various methods to solve this. Let's look at the brute force method first. So the brute force method could be that we create an array and we insert all the elements in it. So once all the elements are inserted, then we can use any sorting algorithm like let's say merge sort, quick sort. So that will give us the sorted array. So once we have the sorted array, we can replace the values in the linked list. So we can start with the first linked list and replace the values. So we'll have 1, 1, 2, 7 and then we can have 8, 9, 10, 18, 30 and 40 and we just need to link the first linked list with the second. So if we do in this manner, we'll get a sorted linked list. But the problem with this approach is first that it uses extra space. So we are creating an extra array and then using a sorting algorithm. So this extra space is used and then the sorting algorithm will also have some time complexity. So the best sorting algorithm has order of n log n, where n is the number of elements. So in this method, extra space is used and the time complexity is also not very optimized. So because of these two drawbacks, we need a better approach. Now let's have a look at the efficient approach of how to merge two sorted linked list. So in this approach, we'll move two pointers depending on whichever has the smallest value. So we have head one for linked list one and head two for linked list two. We'll compare the value for head one val with head two val. If head one value is smaller than head two value, then we need to move head one, else we can move head two. Because we need to produce a sorted linked list, so first we need the smaller value. So whichever is the smallest value will take that value and then move that pointer to the next one. So for doing this, we need to keep track of the previous node as well. Like we already discussed in my previous videos, in linked list questions, there are many edge cases around head of the linked list. So to avoid writing all the edge cases separately, what we can do is we can initialize our previous node with a dummy value. So we are creating a dummy node. So this dummy node will act as the start for the sorted combined linked list. So we'll create a node, we'll use it for the processing and at the end we'll remove it. So previous node is initialized to dummy and then we have a while loop which we run till either of the linked list has been traversed. So we have while head one is not equal to null and head two is not equal to null. Then we compare the value of head one and head two. So both have value of one. So we come to the else part and we link previous node next to head two. So previous node is dummy. So here we are making the link from dummy to head two. If we had not initialized previous node with dummy, then previous node would be null and we'll have to make some extra checks here. So to avoid those extra checks, we initialize previous node with a dummy node. And then we move head two to the next node because this node has been traversed. So head two will come at eight. And now our previous node will come to the next node. So previous node was dummy. So next of dummy is this blue link, which is one. So previous node will come to one. In the next step, we again check this while condition and then we compare the values of head one and head two. Now, now head one is at one and head two is at eight. So one is less than eight, 
this is true we we come inside this if statement and now we make previous node next equal to head one so previous node is at one so now we are joining these two ones previous node next equal to head one and then we move head one to the next node because now this node is processed so head one will come to two and in the next step previous node becomes previous node next so previous node was at one and next of one is again one so previous node comes to the one in linked list one in the next step we again compare the values of head one and head two so head one is at two and head two is at eight so this is again true we come inside and now we make previous node next to head one so previous node next is equal to head one this link was already there and then we move head one to the next node so head one will come at seven and then we move previous node to the next node so next of this one is two so previous node will come at two in the next step we again compare value of head one and head two head one is at seven and head two is at eight so this is again true we again make previous node next to head one so we are making this blue link and we move head one to the next node so head one will come at 18 and now we move previous node to the next node so next of two is seven so previous node comes at seven in the next step we compare the values of head one and head two so head one is at 18 and head two is at eight so this is false now we make previous node next to head two so so previous node is at seven and head two is at eight so here we are joining seven with eight and then we move head two to the next node so head two will come at nine and then we move previous node to the next node so next of seven is eight so previous node will point to eight in the next step we again compare head one and head two head one is at 18 and head two is at nine so this is false we come to the else part and we make previous node next to head two so previous node is at eight so next of eight is nine so we are making this blue link and then we move head two to the next node so head two comes at 10 and then we move previous node to the next node so previous node comes at nine in the next iteration we again compare head one which is 18 with head two which is 10 so this is false we come to the else part and we make previous node next to head two so previous node is at nine so we are making this blue link from nine to ten and then we move head two to the next node so head two will come to 30 and then we move previous node to the next node so so next of nine is 10 so previous node comes to 10 in the next step we again compare head one and head two head one is at 18 and head two is at 30 so this is true we come inside and now we make previous node next to head one so previous node is at 10 so we are joining 10 with 18 and then we move head one by one node so head one will now become null because next of 18 is null and then we move previous node to the next node so next of 10 is 18 so previous node will come to 18 in the next iteration we check this while condition so head one is now null so this while loop will terminate because one of the linked list has been traversed fully we come outside this while loop we'll check this if if head one is not equal to null so head one is null so this if condition is false now we'll check if head two is not equal to null so head two is not null because it is pointing to 30 so we'll make previous node next to head two the so previous node is at 18 so we are connecting 18 with 30 because so we are doing this because the linked list one has been traversed fully and now we are only remained with linked list two and we already know that the individual linked list are sorted so we can just connect the end of the one linked list with the other one because the remaining part of the linked list will be sorted 
and at the end we can return dummy next so we redraw this link list we have dummy then we have one then this one is pointing to this one one is pointing to two two is pointing to seven seven is pointing to eight eight is pointing to nine nine is pointing to ten ten is pointing to eighteen and eighteen is pointing to thirty thirty is pointing to forty so i've just redrawn all these blue links and at the end we return dummy next so next of dummy is this one so essentially we have returned this link list so this link list is sorted so what we have done is we have taken two pointers and at each point we have compared the values of both the nodes whichever is the smaller we have moved that node by one and linked it with the previous node if we check the time complexity of this method the time complexity is order of n1 plus n2 where n1 and n2 is the length of the link list and the space complexity is order of 1 so this is quite efficient than the previous brute force method that we discussed so once you have understood this algorithm let's have a look at the implementation all the source code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of which is present here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function i've created both of these link list i've printed them and then i call this function merge to list and i pass the head of both the link list in this function merge to list i first create a dummy node and i initialize previous node with dummy then i traverse till either of the link list is not equal to null i check which one has the smaller value if head one is smaller i connect the previous node to head one and i move head one by one node if head if head two is smaller i join previous node to head two and i move head two by one node once this while loop terminates that means one of the link list has been traversed fully then i join previous node next to the non null link list so if head one is not equal to null i make previous node next to head one if head two is not equal to null i make previous node next to head two I save this dummy next to a result pointer. I delete the dummy node that we have created so that this space can be free and I return the pointer to the resultant node. So, which, so this res will be the new head of the link list. And then in the main function, I print the link list using this new head. Let's see the output of this program. So we can see here the link list 1 is 1 to 7, 18 and the link list 2 is 1, 8, 9, 10, 30, 40. And the merged sorted link list is displayed here. Now this problem is also available on lead code as question number 21 merge to sorted list. I've pasted the same code here and it is success. So you can try here with the method that I've explained. So that was all for this video. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content and until next time this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.